before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my instagram so let's check together the visa policy of el salvador before traveling to el salvador you need to know if you're uh, if you need to apply for visa or not this is a list of countries who uh, do not need a visa before traveling to el salvador we can see it more clear here in the visa policy map of el salvador almost all countries of south america all countries of north america all european countries uh, south africa malaysia korea japan uh, india uh, australia uh, so all these countries do not need a visa before traveling to El Salvador but if you are applying from Egypt or from Pakistan or from Iran or from China then you need to apply for visa before traveling so to fill the visa application form you need to download it from here just click over this link and okay it is downloading right now I am opening it it is opening one second and yes it is opening this is the visa application form of el salvador in the first section here you write your uh, personal information then your home address then uh, your data entry like uh, date of entry of el salvador your travel details and uh, and in the end after filling all this application form you need to write the place and date and you need to sign this application form this section here for the photograph and you will have to submit this visa application form along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video at el salvador embassy in your country so in order to submit your visa application form you just need to go direct, uh, directly to the embassy of el salvador in your country you can just click over this link over here this page will appear in front of you choose the language to be english and they will give you a list of all uh, the embassies of el salvador and also twitter and facebook page in uh, everywhere in north america central america south america in europe and also in asia so you just need to search for your country and you will find um, the exact address and also you can find the contact number here by in the facebook uh, page you can just take your all your documents and go directly to the embassy submit your documents and hopefully in the end you will be able to get your visa the first document that you will need for your visa application is your passport make sure that your passport is valid at least for six months and at least two pages uh, are there are empty for stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will need also photocopies of your passport at least make sure you have three photocopies sometimes they require only a photocopy of the data pages but sometimes you will need also to photocopy the stamp pages and the other visas you have in your passport you will also need to submit personal pictures make sure that your picture is new not older than six months with a white background unless uh, the embassy or the visa office tell you something else and with clear face details you will also need a visa application form this visa application form could be filled and submitted online other visa application form uh, could be filled on computer then printed and signed and other visa application form uh, need to be filled manually all depend on your destination and the type of the visa you're applying for you will also need to submit a proof of status if you are an employee then you will need to bring an HR letter from your company and this HR letter uh, should be signed and stamped with all the details of your company and your position in the company and stating your salary as well if you are a business owner then you need to submit all the documents that you have that can prove that you own a business if you are a student then you will need to ask your university to give you an admission letter if you're a minor then your father and mother your parents should be approving your travel by giving you uh, a letter signed by them if you are jobless then try to approve your uh, means of uh, of, of, of funds 
Sometimes you will need to provide a proof of legal status if you are applying from another country than your main country of nationality. Uh, in that case, you either need to submit a valid visa of this company of this country or uh, a proof of legal uh, residency in this country. You will need also to submit a bank statement as a proof of funds. It should cover the last six months. Uh, movement of your account and it should be signed and stamped by your bank number eight is your flight reservation it should be a round trip and some countries require you to submit a confirmed ticket and for others it will be okay to submit a dummy ticket and I will teach you how to make both of them the confirmed ticket and the dummy ticket Number nine is your travel accommodation or the booking of your hotel. Sometimes it's required to be confirmed and sometimes it's okay to be an initial booking. And sometimes some countries require you that this booking should cover at least a third of your trip. Number 10 is your travel insurance. And remember, it's not always necessary and uh, it should be made from a verified platform or office uh, acknowledged by uh, the country you are traveling to and it should cover uh, your whole trip and sometimes it's required to submit a travel insurance that covers a year and uh, it's minimal uh, it, the minimal coverage should be at least 30,000 euros remember that before applying for the visa you will need to contact the embassy or the application office and ask them about if there is any change in the documents or if there is any special documents required from you because sometimes documents are different from a country to another.